Hi, when I asked you what you wanted to see more of, one of the things you asked was about how to record video in Canva. So that is what we're going to do today. Let's go over to Canva and I'll show you how I recorded this. Okay, so we're going to start with a new YouTube video because that's what I'm recording. This is all going to get a bit meta. Hopefully I won't just explode into a puff of smoke or something. This is Canva Tips for Authors, where we show authors how to use Canva for their book marketing. And this is the first in a series about video. Okay, so you've got your thing, whatever shape you want. One of the things you can do is you can actually record this on your phone and upload it to Canva. That is a thing that you can do. To do that, yeah, just record it on your phone and then you might have to send it to Canva through your phone, which you can do or download it and re-upload it. Otherwise, go to Uploads, go to Record Yourself, and this thing will open. This is the recording studio. So you have some options. You can you can record your camera, just, just this front-facing camera, which is what you can see. You can record the camera and the screen, in which case you can choose which tab you want to record, which window, if you have more than one window, or the entire screen. Now, I always choose entire screen and then you click share. And that means you're recording your screen and your face from the camera, or you can just record the screen. When you're ready, you press record and it'll count down three, two, one, and then it'll start recording. So I'm going to exit because I'm genuinely scared that this whole thing will fall over if I um, try to record whilst recording. So once you press save and exit, and do remember to press save and exit, because if you just exit, it does not save. So what, what I'm going to do is use some files that I recorded earlier. So what you end up with is two videos of equal length. So one is the recording of your screen, and the other is the recording of your face from the front camera. So what we're going to do is we're going to put that one in first. Okay, so what you can do once you've got here is you can stretch things, move things around, zoom in if you need to zoom in. Um, and then let's put the front camera one in there as well. Just a quick note, I don't get paid to do these videos. So if you're enjoying them and you'd like to buy me a cup of tea, there's a link below. Please do click it and I would be very grateful. Or if you're upgrading to Canva Pro, please use my link. Okay. If, if you want to just do a talking heads video, you only need the front camera one. But I, for these tutorials, I record my screen as well. And what I do for, because what you often see is just the screen, you don't see my face. So, but if I delete this video with my face in, I will also delete the audio track. So what I do instead is I go to the transparency and I turn the transparency right down. And it disappears. You can't see me. I'm still there, still talking, and you can still have you still have the sound. So yeah, so the audio is still there, and you can, but you can only see the video. If I wanted my face to come in for a bit, I could just make it big. What I would do is I would split the thing here where I wanted it to come in. Split page, and then maybe, I don't know, maybe somewhere here, I have a split page again to come back out again. And what it does is it splits the video and the audio. It splits both of the files, right? And then let's go to this bit where my face wants to appear. Right click, look for layers, show layers. Find that one and turn the transparency back up. There's me, so I will appear for a clip. And if I want a smoother transition, you can just do dissolve and dissolve. So let's see what that looks like. Okay, 
when you want to save all you have to do is click on share once you've finished all your editing click on share and you can download it as an mp4 file mp4 video i would do it i don't mess with the quality settings if you only want to save selected pages you can do that too and if you're doing something really short you can probably save it as a gif yeah so so yeah that's how you record yourself and you record your screen in canva i hope you found this useful if you did please tell all your friends and i'll see you in the next video